today i'm going to be going through and ranking every future star card that released with the future of the franchise program here and it will be the show 22 i've had a ton of people asking me which future stars i've been liking so far and which ones they should take out of these packs so we are going to approach this a little bit differently we're going to be going pack by pack and ranking those five within each division as we get different packs as we go through i want to rank them that way as i think that provides a little bit more value as you're making your decisions on which one you should take now of course as we're going through this do know all 30 future stars are really really good there isn't a wrong option within any of these we all have different team needs we all have different card types that we like different pitch mixes whether we like power contact speed defense regardless of what it is there's not wrong options within any of these so do keep that in mind and of course as we're going through let me know down in the comment section below who your favorite future star cards have been i've gotten to use a solid handful of them use them all at least once now, i'm not gonna lie these cards are really really good now another thing as well a lot of these cards are very similar too so the differences between the best player in a pack and the worst player again it's really minimal for the most part let's go ahead here we're gonna start it off with the al least let's dive in and take a look at those five cards first guy here in the at least we're gonna start with gunner henderson shortstop for the orioles gets that second and third base secondary really strong defense and speed on this card 84 feeling 77 speed the thing i like about him though he can hit righties very very well it is a little bit of a lefty pitching meta right now but he's still 86 92 versus lefties that vision a little bit on the lower end of things but he has a really nice swing plays a lot of premium positions with good defense and speed along with nice well-rounded hitting attributes i've really loved what i've seen of gunner henderson so far he would be my first pick here from the american league east second guy i like here josh low from the tampa bay rays plays left center and right i love that combination of high speed and high fielding on this card he's going to be a little bit less on our offensive attributes especially versus lefties 82 80 is a little bit on the tough side but 88 92 versus righties mixed with that good fielding and good speed i like high quality defense and speed in my outfield i don't know if y'all have noticed it but this year for me a lot more outfield errors and bad jumps this year had a lot of guys uh when they're trying to make plays on the run dropping the ball so outfield defense definitely a premium this year i like what josh Lowe brings from this usually hit well with lefties as well so probably my second option here third option here pretty similar to gunner henderson but with reverse splits now for Aurelius martinez don't usually love guys with reverse splits but 82 90 versus left not bad at all bringing a little bit more power to the table there with 103 power versus right a little bit on the slower end not the greatest fielder either but third second and shortstop solid secondary positions able to crush righties and you have the matchup advantage versus lefties a really solid card fourth guy here in the ales for the yankees peraza shortstop he's probably one of the future stars i've used the most and i i suck i get that but i'm batting all 90 well with them it's 22 ab's it's not a ton but it's an 091 batting average just have not been good with him at all have not enjoyed using him i thought i'd really like this player mix with the high contact and the power nice fielding nice speed but his swing just has not been well for me it hasn't been producing results unfortunately so peraza gonna slot in here at four finally our fifth one i'm probably gonna botch the name but brayan bello definitely said the name wrong i'm sure y'all let me know down in the comment section below sub 100 hits for nine doesn't have a ton of control either with a four steam slider circle change two seam pitch mix i do not like that pitch mix at all i don't hate the circle change in the slider and he is coming with a little velocity no outlier though just a pretty straightforward pitcher doesn't bring a lot to the table and i already have a lot of other pitchers paralleled up so for me bellow definitely not cracking that rotation second division pack you're going to come across here the nl east we're going to start with brett Beatty. a lot of the attributes offensively speak for themselves you can play third base and left field so it gives you a little bit of positional flexibility 109 101 versus righties is awesome and in this lefty dominant rotations that we see 95 89 is not bad at all versus left he's gonna come in there with 85 speed 93 arm gonna be plenty fine out there in that secondary position of left field or primary position at third base a little bit on the sober end but his offensive attributes make up for that in a massive way second guy here khalil watson coming in with that high speed high fielding guys that shortened third this year i feel like that higher defense 
definitely seems to be an emphasis on that in this year's game gonna lack a little bit offensively especially versus lefties you probably want to platoon him long term with how his offensive attributes are but i love what he brings fielding and speed wise go along with offensive attributes that can definitely get the job done bill watson a steal for the marlins in the last draft gets him a solid future star card here in 22. another middle infielder here lots of middle infielders in this future star program that's generally how prospects come up they're infielders they're gonna play short second gonna be a lot of center fielders some catchers and those guys move on as they get up closer to the major leagues we got brady house here another 2021 draft pick coming in with really nice offensive attributes gonna hit lefties very well at 87 92 and 84 95 versus righty so as long as you're not playing up on those legend difficulties having that 84 contact not gonna be an issue 84 fielding gonna be perfectly serviceable as well and 69 speed coming in not gonna be too slow pretty house a pretty solid future star overall next guy we're looking at here bryson stunt looks very similar to peraza plays pretty similarly as well at power versus lefties 70 power i'd like to see that a little bit higher now this card does have pretty solid vision for these future star cards here at 81 i think vision in this year's game probably an underrated stat with how foul balls are you can save a lot of ab's from foul balls and really expand your zone a lot as well it's definitely a foul ball meta so 81 vision definitely not something to just overlook there he's going to come in with nice high contact ratings as well with fielding and speed not a bad option for short second or third on your squad at all last one here we're gonna come in with michael harris he's gonna bring us our fielding and our speed but for me he's gonna lack on that power even once you get him paralleled up he's gonna be under that 80 power threshold so unfortunately for me especially not coming in with a kind of contact rating as well not a bad card by any stretch of the matter but a lot of options in the outfield already in this game for me michael harris I think there's better outfielder options within this program and outside this program it'd be my last pick here from the nl east third pack we're coming across here al central we're gonna go with my man yeona cespedes brother yoleki cespedes i hope i said that name right coming in with nice nice power for this future star program a little bit lower on that contact rating but for me uh, so far in this game with the lack of high hits per nine meta pitchers 80 to 85 contact has been serviceable for me on Hall of Fame. You get the legend, you're going to run into some issues. But Hall of Fame, I've been doing just fine with that caliber of contact. 82 fielding, 84 speed. He's coming in nice with it. I'm going to show off the stats. It's only four ABs. But my man's is two for four with two home runs. I will be seeing his debut here on the channel real soon. So definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so y'all can see my man Cespedes come out. He may or may not have done this against Randy Johnson on Hall of Fame as well. We'll have to find out and see when that drops. Really like Cespedes, so has a nice swing, cannon of an arm, decent speed and fielding to go along with that. Second guy I've been vibing with here, Austin Martin. Now, generally don't like guys that are lacking that little bit of power, but Martin is making up for that with more than enough contact and vision. He has enough power over that 80 threshold versus lefty, 73 versus righties. You can parallel him up, get him some power. Lacking a little bit defensively, especially if you start moving him to some secondary positions, but he does have some solid speed as well with a really smooth swing. Austin Martin, not a bad option at all. If you're one of those guys who really likes that contact prototype in Diamond Dynasty, I think you'd love Austin Martin. Next guy we got here, third year in the AL Central. It's Guardians right field prospect George Valera. He is going to absolutely crush right handed pitching. Really solid bench bat at minimum. Going to struggle a little bit versus lefties. Has that little bit of lower vision than what we'd like to see. And he's not going to be the greatest defender or the fastest guy in the world, but his ability to hit righties very well definitely provides him some really solid value. And he's not a slouch versus lefties either. He's able to hit the ball really, really well. Again, though, as an outfielder, lots of other outfield options in this game. So I probably won't be using George Valera a ton for that reason. Slots in here as my third pick. Fourth pick here, AL Central. We got Jackson Job missing a little bit there on that hits for nine with 94. But he is going to come in with decent control. Not going to be super, super fast. But he's going to have some nice east to west and north to south pitch movement. Four seam circle change curveball slider primary slider really really nice pitch this year missing that sinker cutter if that two seam would have been a sinker maybe throw in a cutter there obviously he doesn't use those pitches i rail but had he had those pitches on this card definitely would be a little bit better not a bad card by any stretch of the matter 
but we've seen a lot of lefty future star hitters in this program so lots of great lefties in this game so a little bit lacking on that hits for nine i think there's some better options for you in your rotation last option here nick prado this is a tough one because nick prado is definitely a very good card with 108 power right and 100 power left he has solid contact as well 92 fielding at first base doesn't matter a whole lot at that first base position honestly with how this game plays he's probably going to be a worse defender than frank thomas because first base is almost 90 percent about how tall you are and how much you weigh you knock down every ball if you're bigger and taller prado 6'1, 215 maybe he's not going to end up playing the best first base defense he's going to mash the ball though 100 but for me part of this comes down to a couple reasons one first base not a very tough position to fill does have that second theory position of left field right field but 52 speed is just a little slow for me on that front i can get a pretty equitable card in a guy like anthony rizzo prince fielder or if i have frank thomas somebody of that nature lots of options at first base and i think there's even another better first baseman in this program y'all probably know who i'm talking about so for that reason prado would be my last pick here from the central but not a bad card at all keeping it in the central but moving over to the al now my first option my first pick here was austin hendrick and honestly maybe one of my favorite future stars so far real quick i want to show off the attributes is three abs do not care those are only my his online stats obviously only have three abs just a little bit more offline three abs he may only be one for three but if you notice my man has three rbis in a home run just wait till y'all see how that home run was one of my favorite home runs i've hit so far in the movie this show 22 that debut with hendrick yolecki brett Beatty, a couple other future stars is gonna be dropped tomorrow so definitely subscribe to the channel keep your noties on for that coming my man austin hendrick though he's gonna be bringing you the power 110 power right 100 power left 87 81 contact both sides as well again i've been liking that 80 plus range a little bit lower on the vision so he's gonna get that smaller outer pci definitely gotta make really firm contact with it 85 fielding though 80 speed gonna come in with a nice fielding and speed mix i've absolutely loved his swing so far one of my favorite swings from this entire program has been this austin hendrick card it is absolutely insane generates that nice launch angle and exit velocity that i work with i don't know what it is i've just been absolutely crushing the ball with him loving hendrick so far he's my first pick here from the central second guy i'd be going with here is number one overall pick from 2021 henry davis if you don't have joe mauer maybe even if you do have joe mauer i'd be taking a look at henry davis to come in here and handle your catching duties gonna dominate lefties would be a solid option platoon him and joe mauer on your squad i may end up doing that at where i'm at right now because that 94 97 versus lefties and with how many great lefty starters there are is really really nice so for me henry davis that number two option here possibly the best catcher in this program third guy here we're gonna be looking at p crow armstrong really fast riser in the cub system coming up with some nice contact he's lacking that power just a little bit would love to see more but he does have a really really nice swing got some cedric mullins vibes to him not as much power but just that awesome smooth left-handed swing that generates a ton of pop off the bat and he's coming in with 97 fielding 89 speed he's gonna track down and make just about every play in center field now i will say in our central pack a little bit on the lighter end of things but he crow pca not a bad option next year we're looking at the brewers it's garrett mitchell pretty similar looking card here to pca with that high fielding high speed not a lot of power a little bit more power for mitchell than pca but a lot less on the contact side of things so for that reason i drop him just under armstrong here coming at fourth definitely has a solid swing though a lot of lefties in this game have solid swings and great defensively as well at minimum if you're on all-star i think it'd be a really solid card but i think you may struggle a little bit as you get to those hall of fame difficulties and higher finally here for the central we're coming in with mason win shortstop second third i think there's a lot of other better middle infield options here in this program it's gonna give you elite defense and speed which definitely has a lot of value at these positions but 
For me, that lack of power was 6370. I haven't loved this swing either. You combine all of those things together. Mason went for me. Not a bad option. Again, there's no bad options. All these cards are good, but he would be my last pick here from the Central. Starting off here in the American League West, I may be a Rangers fan and I may be biased, but Justin Foscu might just be the best future star in this entire program. Y'all haven't used him yet. You got to give him a shot. I don't know if it's an exact carbon copy, an exact replica, but my man has something that is very similar to Adalberto Mondesi's swing. Maybe think of a guy like Tay Oscar as well. That two-handed quick swing follow-through that generates insane exit velocities and launch angle. I don't know what it is, but there's a reason a guy like Mondesi has a silver. It's absolute tanks with like 40 power. Now imagine that swing on a dude with 107 power right and 112 power left. He's going to come with pretty solid contact versus lefties as well. Again, in this lefty meta, 96-112 is real nice. 85 versus righties. That's not going to be too bad. And he's got 82 fielding. I've been playing him secondary position at shortstop. Haven't had any issues yet. And again, the combination of his power with that swing, it's going to do insane things. If y'all haven't used Foscu yet, you got to give him a shot. Second, third, short. Throw him at one of those positions and just thank me later. Next guy we're looking at here from the Astros, Corey Lee. Maybe one of the more underrated guys here in this program. Talks about maybe platooning Henry Davis with Joe Maurer, but I may end up going Corey Lee when it's all said and done. 95 contact left, 100 power left. Gonna hit lefties very well. 98 on the arm too. So he's gonna throw out those base runners. And 84, 94 versus righties. There's nothing to scoff at at all. Gets that nice first, third, secondary as well. Do you get a little bit of positional flexibility with them too. Corey Lee, really, really solid card here for the Astros in this future of the franchise program. Coming in here at my second pick from the AL West. Next, we're coming in here with Reed Detmers. We got a lot of lefty hitters in this game. I like some lefties in the rotation. 102 hits per nine as well. It's coming in with some nice speed differentials. 95 on the fastball, a little slow, but when that sweeping curve comes in at 74 miles an hour, I like that quite a bit. Slider, circle change, and the cutter option as well. All coming in pretty similar speeds, but still a nice speed differential from that 95 fastball. Reed Detmers, solid pitch mix, solid per nines, a decent amount of control as well. A little bit low on that cutter, but you can probably still control that. It's going to have good break on that slider as well. Really solid pitcher overall here. One of the better pitchers from this program. Unfortunately for A's fans, they're getting back-to-back -back catchers in these team affinity style pro programs. Ace of the franchise, they get Sean Murphy. Future of the franchise, they get Shea Galangalier. So their face and future, very similar with catchers. Both have a pretty similar prototype as well. 90, 85, 102, 97. Definitely not a bad catcher at all, though, here with Shangaliers. A pretty solid card. Does have some reverse splits, which, in my opinion, knocks him down ever so slightly. But one of the better defensive catchers that we have here in this game. He's going to be my fourth option from the AOS, but not a bad choice at all. Finally, here, we're going to be looking at Matt Brash. He does come in with 99 hits per nine, which is not bad at all. Four seam sliders, slurve, circle change, two seam pitch mix. Not my favorite pitch mix in the world, but he does have that four seam slider and circle change that I can use pretty well. Lacking a little bit on the control side of things. Nothing with that super top end control. Does get some nice break going on. 99 on that slider. So his pitcher's going to move. Has some decent speed differentials. Not a bad starter by any stretch of the matter, but he would end up being my last choice here from the AL West. Finally, starting here in the NL West, in my opinion, far and away the best division and ironically the last one that you're going to get in these choice back the NL West is absolutely stacked and we're starting out here with Bobby Miller he's going to come in with our four seam slider splitter sinker curveball mix here not to mention he's coming in here with outlier on that four seamer as well not a ton of guys in this game with that outlier four seamer Randy's one of the few that has it Bobby Miller is joining him He's going to lack that control just a little bit, but 102 hits per nine as well. Really high on that hits per nine. Lacking that control, but is going to come in with some solid break. Splitters this year have been super effective for me as well. I love that four seam slider, splitter, sinker combination. I can throw in the curveball. One of my favorite pitch mixes in this game is what Bobby Miller has. The only thing I'd really change would be a circle change for a splitter. Outside of that, an elite pitch mix is what we have here. Bobby Miller 
definitely going to be seeing a lot of him as people unlock him so get used to that name get used to his pitch mix doesn't have the greatest delivery he is a little bit readable on that front holds him back a little bit but at where we're at in the game currently definitely one of the better starting pitcher options second option here michael toglia may end up replacing frank thomas for me i'd love to get a nice switch hitter in my lineup i love switch hitters and toglia coming in with 84 contact right 92 contact left and 109 107 on those power ratings plus c65 as we mentioned earlier that matters a lot for first base defense coming in with 95 fielding two switch hitter nice swing got the power numbers i might have to give him a shot over frank frank's been nasty but totally could be that guy to unseat him from first base when the time is right definitely have to give him a real shot in the opening lineup next guy i'm looking at here it is joey bart i, I feel like every catcher i do this i keep mentioning with this this may be actually the guy i platoon joe mauer with 97 contact left 105 power left 88 fielding 50 speed before we go too much farther this is the second joey bart card we've gotten and i just want to show off something here with the first joey bart card that we got i can't necessarily explain it but through 35 ab's with this joey bart i'm batting 571 with a 2029 ops so needless to say future star joey bart we're gonna be throwing him on the squad at some point at least use him as a platoon there with joe mauer let's take a look back at the card and break down some more of his attributes as we mentioned 97 105 versus lefties 84 93 versus righties not bad at all coming in with solid defense a little bit less on the arm than what we've seen from some of these other catchers but 88 arm not gonna be too bad at all gonna be able to throw out quite a bit of runners i really like joey bart something about him too i'm cracked out with that swing fourth option here in all west second to last card we're talking about it's luis camp usano really nice well-rounded offensive card 88 94 97 104 nice and well-rounded can do a little bit of it all not going to be our best defensive catcher in the game but definitely going to make up with that with a little bit of boosted offensive attributes and nice well-rounded hitting ability campusano really solid catcher option lots of great catchers in this program it's really tough to nail down the best one henry davis Corey lee joey bart Camp Usano, lots of options here. Shea Langoliers, really, in my recommendation, use these guys, see who you like. On paper, I probably would not have chosen Joey Bart as my favorite catcher, but in game, he probably ends up being my favorite catcher just with how I generate good contact with his swing. Can't really explain it. So, definitely recommend using these guys, giving them a shot. Do you end up liking the most? I had a lot of people asking me about catcher. Final card we're talking about here it is Blake Walston. Coming in a little bit on the lower end of our hits for nine. Not coming in with a ton of control to back that up either. So let's have that nice case for nine. Is a solid lefty with a four seam curveball circle change slider. Two seam pretty straightforward pitch mix. Nothing really jumping off the page. But he does have that nice speed differential between his four seamer and his curveball. A little bit slower of a pitcher overall. So not going to come in with dominating speed here or is he going to come in with dominating control so he just lacks that real next level thing to in my opinion throw him in the rotation i think you can find five better guys and in a division that is stacked with great future stars such as the nos also for me the last choice from this division so those are the order that i would choose face the franchise cards here in 22 got over 20 days left in this program can earn 12 of these bad boys too from every division now of course at the end of the day all of our positional needs are gonna vary maybe you're in need of a shortstop maybe you're in need of a catcher or you need more starting pitching that's definitely gonna impact your choices at the end of the day these are all just my opinions and preferences and honestly the more i use these cards the more these may change over time y'all be sure to hit me up down in the comment section below though and let me know who y'all's favorite future stars have been so far one of my favorite series each and every single year love going through these future star cards and being able to use them they are a ton a ton of fun as always though y'all enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe we got a couple gameplays coming with these future stars real soon that i had a ton of fun in. so definitely be sure to subscribe for that we're closing real real close in on 30,000 subs almost less than a thousand subs away here from 30k as always y'all enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe until next time i'll catch y'all around